against a delightful rural setting is a typical family group, with the father showing his two sons how to shoot straight on a miniature range in the garden. And this father knows a great deal about shooting, but at targets more elusive than electric light bulbs. To prove our point, let's introduce Wing Commander Stanford Tuck, DSO, DFC and two bars, Battle of Britain pilot, who alone shot down 29 aircraft during the last war. Pilot bails out and a parachute mushrooms to give us a handy introduction to the story for after the appalling dangers of war, a man is entitled to peace and quiet. And Wing Commander Tuck has achieved just that through the unlikely medium of mushrooms. This is a large-scale commercial venture carried out on a four and a half acre farm at Eastry in Kent. The enclosed mushroom sheds themselves cover a whole acre onto a tray of specially prepared compost, which has been pasteurized for 48 hours at a temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, goes the mushroom spawn. The grain spawn is well ruffled in, then securely tamped down into the compost. After a fortnight in the spawn room, a mixture of saturated peat and graded chalk is placed on top to a depth of one and a half inches. After 16 days in the growing sheds, the mushrooms are cut and graded into three different categories according to the umbrella-like stage of development. Thus, from the small closed cups, we graduate to cups and finally opens. The two and a half pound chips, or baskets, weighed here by Mrs. Joyce Tuck, are secured for the journey to their destinations in various parts of the country. Each of the 26 crops a year requires great care. For instance, the disinfecting of sheds and trays after every crop. It is fitting that the hand with the firm but gentle touch which so skillfully piloted wartime fighter aircraft should now be engaged in an equally skillful but far more peaceable task. It's a pity Hitler didn't think of it when he was still a corporal.